and welcome to Take 5 with the Regional Chamber. I'm Kim Calvert. Hunger and homelessness impact every community across the country, and the Valley is no different. This week is Hunger and Homelessness Awareness Week. So Talia Hagler visited the rescue mission of the Mahoning Valley to take a tour of the organization's new building. She tells us what the mission is doing to help. The rescue mission of the Mahoning Valley is celebrating one year in this beautiful new building, a building they've needed for decades. The rescue mission has been attempting to build a new facility actually since the 1970s. We have newspaper articles dating all the way back in the 70s when uh, there was a need that was identified uh, to build a new facility. Uh, the building that we were in before uh, was just falling down for, for years. The rescue mission is here to help anyone who needs food, shelter, and a second chance. They provide for the physical and spiritual needs of the people here, and they require accountability in return. The nonprofit's new home helps them do this in a much more efficient, uplifting way. The goal is so that when folks are walking in off the streets, uh, they're encouraged to be in a building like this, right? Uh, that's part of the whole design and layout. The new building has separate entrances for women and families and men. They have a total of 186 beds, 100 on the men's side and 86 on the women and family side. And the new building allows children to comfortably stay with their parents. We have bedrooms where families can be together. So if we have a mom with three kids, four kids or so, five kids, or a dad with five kids, they have a bedroom to themselves. Um, in the event that we get a family that has maybe 12 members in the family, uh, there's, a, there's a, a few bedrooms that have an adjoining door in between them, just like you would see at a hotel room, so that we can open up that door and give that family the space that they need. Uh, so that's another component um, that this building offers us versus what the old building did not offer. The design and equipment in the dining hall and kitchen are also major upgrades over the old building. The dining hall has its own entrance, so when the public comes for meals, they can enter right into this area. The kitchen has two combi ovens that allow for baking, steaming, and air frying food. To provide our, our folks with healthier meals, we got rid of the deep fryers. I mean, we were deep frying hot dogs in the past, right? So these um, uh, machines are allowing us to provide healthier food options. Everything in this building was meticulously planned. It's bright and clean and people feel safe coming here. That's helped to attract more volunteers and more people to the Wednesday night Bible study. And it's providing a beautiful temporary home to people in the valley without their own place to stay. For Take 5 with the Regional Chamber, I'm Talia Hagler. The Rescue Mission is looking to fill some roles within the organization. If you feel a calling to help, or if you'd simply like to take a tour of the building or donate, visit rescuemissionmv.org. And now to another organization that's helping in a different way. The United Way of Youngstown in the Mahoning Valley is teaming up with local foundations and businesses to help fill the needs of children in several local schools. After COVID, the nonprofit started getting one-off requests from schools for more than just food. So they found a way to create a one-stop shop right in the schools for kids and their parents to access things they need. We came up with a concept called Care Closets. So it's a food pantry where we have some kid-friendly foods in their pop tops, things that they can take home at any time for them, their siblings, anybody that they need at home. But also beyond that, hygiene kits, clothing, school supplies, shoes, bedding, all these other things that the schools were noticing that these kids really need and may not have access to. Care closets have been set up in five schools, one in Boardman and four in Youngstown. Sweeney Chevrolet, along with the Lamb and Neckerman Foundations, have been vital to the success of the care closets. In order for the United Way to expand their reach, they are in need of more sponsorships. If you're interested in getting involved, visit ymvunitedway.org. We hope you enjoyed this edition of Take 5, and we'll see you again next week. With the Regional Chamber, I'm Kim Calvert. Take 5 with the Regional Chamber is produced by Mahoning Valley Productions, where we tell your stories.